have been killed and a number are missing after a large cruise ship ran aground and sank off the coast of Italy. The Costa Concordia went down about 100 metres off the island of Giulio, and that was late on Friday night. The ship was carrying more than 3,000 passengers and crew when it ran into difficulties. Around about midnight local time, passengers were having dinner. Reports say the ship may have struck a rock, a reef or a sandbar. Now, the accident caused a huge gash, maybe as big as 50 metres wide, in the side of the vessel, and it began to list quickly and severely. These pictures from a rescue helicopter show the cruise ship on its side. Strobes are flashing. Smaller boats are getting in close to try to take passengers off. One helicopter is in very close, hovering just above the hull of the Costa Concordia. In these shots, you can see an orange life raft stranded on the side of the ship. The hull, what should be below the waterline, seems to be damaged. In this daylight shot from a webcam, the cruise ship is on the left, almost half submerged, a flotilla of rescue ships surrounded. The ship came to rest close to the harbour wall of Giglio. It's thought the captain may have headed for the port to make evacuation easier after striking a reef. But the severe list of the ship made it difficult to get some of the lifeboats away. When it was launched in 2006, the Costa Concordia was the largest ship ever constructed in Italy. It has 1,500 staterooms and four swimming pools. But just because a ship is very big, that doesn't mean it can't sink. Passengers said it was like something out of the Titanic when the order was given to abandon ship. A steward on board told the BBC how he jumped for his life. We jumped on the sea. Then we just swim. And then luckily there's an island near us. Luckily on that island we saved us. Another worker on board described the chaos of the evacuation. People started to panic. So they were pushing each other and the crew was trying to help the passengers. A lot of people were falling down the stairs and they were hurt because things fell on them. And people, when they had to get on the ship, uh, on the boat, the lifeboat, everybody was pushing each other. Nighttime pictures from a webcam on the island of Giglio showed the confusion in the harbour. You can just pick out the orange of some of the lifeboats. Shipwrecked passengers now being put up in schools, hotels and even a church on the island. Andy Moore, BBC News.